bound for the land of Nada. 15 minutes to go. Low tide about 90 minutes. I'm going to be in the high 80s today. Should be a lot of depositors out. Going to be in the 90s tomorrow. We've got a. We should have a lot of waves from the uh, from the Hurricane Bertha as she goes past. I think she's already kind of going past now. She's way way offshore. But she'll be causing some major rip currents and some pretty good waves. I hope. Some of the reports I saw yesterday, some of the guys had pretty good clad count. Wasn't too many rings found yesterday, but a lot of jewelry, you know, bling stuff. That means a lot of stuff is moving. We'll see what Wednesday looks like in the land of Nada. Stand by. I'm by myself today. Denny had honeydews. The guru's down here somewhere. He's parked in the parking spot. They got a big lifeguard thing going on here. Lifeguard contests from all over the United States. All kinds of competitions and everything. Beach looks good. Tides low in about 70 minutes. Stand by, we'll see what's around here today. You see we got nice rolly waves. They don't seem to be crashing too bad on the beach. They're just rolling in. That's nice. I like that. Stand by. There's the guru telling some stories about something. Him and Stanley. I wonder what it's going to be. I know he's been here for at least three hours. Stand by. Mary Tyson's shoes and Susie's shoes. Off the beach. Off the lifeguard stand. Now you steal his all the time. He buried him in the sand. Well, I buried mine today. But then he couldn't remember where he buried him. Yeah, well, That's I'm a soccer pattern. <laughs> I buried one. You can see the uh, jet boat is slowed right down. It's full of people. They're watching a bunch of dolphins right there. You see them? I don't know if you can see them or not. I got it zoomed in pretty much. They're having a good time right there. The dolphin are. Come back up. There they are. See them right in front of the boat. Cool. People like to watch them. Looks like a little testing going on here. Lost a waterproof camera right here. We're gonna see if we can find it. Stand by. I think it's gonna be moving to the north fast. Major work going on here. This is a monster complex right here. I don't see no builders around, but it's a monster complex. You build this? You build this? Yeah? You did? You got a big complex there. How long have you been working on it? Got you. <coughs> well, pick it up some quarters, some dimes, a couple of nickels, a fair amount of pennies. No kind of bling, but you see, we got lots of depositors out today. I'm going to go turn around here in a minute and go back and look for that lady's camera. Holy Toledo. Camera, I mean. Stand by.
best part. Where's the rest of it? Go back in the hole and look. And sounds like it's still in there. It was deep. I've been digging on it for five or six scoops. Sorry, sir. How you doing, buddy? Sorry. <laughs> It's not waterproof, that is. Bigger scent. Looks like I'm leaving now just at the right time. Getting black as pitch over there. Stand by. Well, it's starting to rain. Somebody made a comment yesterday what that was. That's what Virginia calls a state inspection sticker. You're required to have your car inspected once a year in Virginia. I think it cost, it used to cost two or three bucks, then it went to like seven or nine and might be as much as 20 now. Hell, I don't remember. I just have to have it done once a year. And that nine means I have to have it done in September. They check your headlights and your tail lights and make sure your windshield wipers work. They check everything, brakes and everything, tires. And if something's not in the realm of where it should be, they give you a rejection sticker, give you 30 days to fix it. I think 30. Uh, it's just something they do, have done for, I don't know how long, ever since I can remember. Virginia State Inspection Center. It's a pain in the rear end sometimes. But I guess it's necessary, you know. Stand by. Well, <clears throat> it's a roundup. I couldn't find a Rolex. I got the band, but no Rolex. I kept digging and digging and digging, and I could hear it just as clear as day. Digging and digging, as clear as day. Then all of a sudden it was gone. Not a sound in the hole. That was very odd. Four quarters, three, the four dimes, and three nickels. I think I found four nickels. I gave a nickel to a kid that was helping me. You can see this as a... Uh, Stainless steel YIF, or maybe LF, whatever that means. No, well, that's the only mark on it. Submariner Rolex, believe it. <laughs> Stand by. I might go back tonight. I know we're going to dinner about three miles from the oceanfront. 
my plan is to go leave from there, take my gear with me and drive two cars. But I don't know how that's going to work out yet. If I can get out of the doghouse, I mean out of the house. Stand by, maybe I'll go for an evening spin. I saw, you saw the guru at Stanley and you could tell they had the mumbles. I saw that fellow with his wife at the AT Pro and that was, uh, that was only two, three looters I saw. Okay, get back to you. Good luck to you. Cut off, you turkey, you. I got a shout out to uh, my buddy Michael Swan. I think most of y'all know him. And his buddy uh, 805. Oops, where is it? 805 Dig Duck. They hunt Pismo in California, beach on the west coast. They've been tearing up the gold the last two or three days. I might well have to fly to fuel the Lear up, fly out there for a week, come by hand. I think they need a hand digging all that gold they find it. Good gracious. Two in one night. That's for Dig Dug, and I think uh, Michael's found two or three this week. Damn. I got the mumbles now. Stand by.